All right, Frederico, we're going to try to make you more better today. And the thing that we are going to try to do is changing the oil, which who knows how long it's been since that's ever happened. The guy before me said he hadn't done it, and the guy before him said, eh, he hadn't really done it. So I managed to find a filter, new old stock, I suppose. And uh, anyway, we're going to swap that out and change the oil in it. And probably what I'm going to go ahead and just do is pull it apart and clean on it a little bit, and let it drain, and then we'll come back and put it together after a while. So for you, it's instantaneous, but for me, it might be a few hours. So here we go. Welcome back. If you haven't seen my videos before, I'm Ross the Oliver Man. And this is little Freddy the Fiat, the brand new 1450 that I got to myself by trading a second 1365 away on. And I think this was good for both people as I did not have a 1450 and obviously want one if I don't have one. But also this is not a tractor to have if you want to have this be your primary tractor to use because the parts situation on these now is just next to non-existent. So that makes it pretty unhandy if you're using it as a primary tractor these days. But when you've got acres of tractors, like I do, it's not that big a deal if you, you know, can't use it every day. So no big problem there. So our first order of operations here is going to be, I believe, to drain this filter and not being an expert on this at all i was thinking that this is a drain plug here that will drain the actual oil out of the filter and then there is an actual drain plug underneath the tractor so that's what we're going to deal with here i'm looking everything catches my eye i'm looking at this wiring situation i mean come on people I would assume that one's probably full. okay. That's your wiring harness wrapped up. There's more wiring harness wrapped up. I'm not really getting that. I guess that was probably the lights that went to the headlights maybe, and they aren't around no more, but they are now. So we'll have to figure that out. Probably some of those wires went to the generator, which it would have had. Hmm. We'll figure it out, but we definitely got to rewire it because this nonsense here, that wasn't going to fly. So, taking the oil out is not something I look forward to here because who knows what could happen. I mean, if we break this thing, sadness forever. So, my original plan was an adjustable, but I'm thinking probably go get the metric sockets and try to find something that is what it's supposed to be because uh yeah we we don't want we don't want no sadness on this okay i'll go do that and then we'll see what happens okay now more than just draining out and whatever i'm gonna clean up while we're doing this because we're going to meadow greenify little Freddy here. And so I'm going to try to let me get some of this grime off of here. At least get to the hard to get to places like behind this filter canister while we get this off. And then I'll meadow greenify that filter housing too before we put it on I think we're about out of battery though Oh, 
gonna have to get to the better battery for the little Fiat. Yeah, I am not working. She's a little gritty and a little grimy, but we love her anyway. Sure. Freddy the Fiat was a happy little thing. I don't know. Okay. See, now my ADD whatever is kicking in, and now I'm thinking about just cleaning stuff. But, uh, yeah. Might get a screwdriver and start scraping, too. Well, though, we could do that after we drain the oil. All right, pal. Let's see what amount of sadness is going to befall us. Because I... Just betcha that this is going to be so sad when we see how sticky and thick and nasty the oil is in here. But it's okay, Freddy. We're going to make you more better, pal. Oh, it's not quite a solid, but it's kind of working up to it, isn't it? So that's cooking. Mm. Oh, Freddy. Breaking the seal. The first time it's been apart in many moons. Many moons. Come on. Oh. Okay. Well, it looks cleaner than I thought it would. So there's that. We'll just, uh, I'm impressed, really. I mean, it's kind of sludgy there at first blush, but, but it's not, uh, ooh, there was a spring. We better not lose that. No, I'm impressed. I, I was expecting much more sadness than what we see. Okay, well, let's see here. Let's gently, gently, that's what I didn't want to do. Don't want to rake the trash in. So what I'm going to do is the opposite of what I said and just keep raking it down in there. Yeah. Yeah, see there, that's what I wanted to do, right? Knock it all in the filter base? Yeah. Not so much, but it's fine. We'll clean it here, and little Freddy will be much more better for it when we're all done. Uh, so there's no need to make you sit and watch all that. I'll, I'll mess with it, get it cleaned up, and then we will uh, bring you back when something else is happening exciting. Okay, what are our bets on how this oil's going to look? Well, first of all, we've got to find the right size watch me to take that off. Then we'll probably drop it in the bucket before we start, I would imagine. That's coming, probably. Oh, pleasant surprise. I did manage to lose the copper washer that was on that drain plug for the filter, so guess I'll be getting one of those in town. Oh, what do we got here? 
Well, it's black. And it's got, that's actually a pipe plug, so. Well, that's much better, better than I thought it would be. I'm going to just let this drain out, like I said, while I'm gone in town because I don't have any oil. So I'll bring back some oil. And hopefully we'll get her fixed up. All right. It's the next day. Little Freddy's looking kind of snazzy here. I managed to lose the copper washer on this. I don't know if I said that a while ago in the video. But, yeah, that was stupid of me. What else is new? And it's fine, though, because I found some in town. An assortment from the Hobo Freight. Now I just have to clean up this plug a little better. I really should have done that. I'm doing a good job of making a mess off camera. That's nice. Let's tuck this out of the way so you might be able to see what's happening. All right. So for like six bucks, I found this thing. Not my middle finger, but an 80-piece copper washer assortment. That's pretty snazzy. Chinese even copper. We're sure that's going to work great. I bought a... I couldn't find everything I needed, and I found a pack of copper washers, but it's not... I knew that wasn't going to be the right size, so I just went ahead and drove to the other end of town and got the Hobo Freight Kit. But I will tell you one thing, friends. I hate town. Going to town was awful. They were doing construction and repaving the road, and it took me an hour to get from one end of town to the other, and I did not enjoy that at all. Makes me wish I hadn't lost this little washer. But that's fine. Can't win them all. Of course. Uh. Went to a wedding last night and partied a little hard. Today is kind of rough. But we'll make it. We always do. I shouldn't have done that yet. I should clean this out more better from our cleaning up higher. That was the practice run. I gotta go get another can of brake clean, I guess. I ran out. There's some schmutz that's come down in this trough. And I want to blow it out of there and not leave it in. Okay, okay Freddy. Yep. He's a coming out of there. It's still not, there's still schmutz in there. Nasty schmutz. It's just been Ready, come on. I think we'd have her thinned down by now. There it comes the blob. There. Now we're doing good.
This is not the normal way I would like to clean this, but it's just kind of the way it worked out. <laughs> I don't know. Partially because of our very small brain and partially just because it's been probably never changed and it just yeah I don't want all that trash in there now we're ready for this I'll put this back in I'm getting covered with nastiness too every time I every time I touch this tractor because it's that exhaust pipe's been leaking so I'm gonna have to do something about that pretty soon because it's really kind of bugging me grief I just took my monthly bath I don't want to have to take another one whether you need it or not I mean okay filter number was like an LF 4081 or something like that I don't know yeah LF 4081 now is that all the seems thinner than the last one but I guess that's good because it wouldn't be that one that one's too that's not right that's what I'm saying let's get our let's put us a little Put a little bit of oil on that rubber. Uh huh. Then we need to put our get our canister. Put our spring back down in there because we we cleaned this sucker all out. Uh-oh, what just happened? Oh, the spring can go all the way through? Well, now, wait a minute. Now, that doesn't make any sense, does it? Shouldn't that spring be pushing up against something else and be holding the filter down? That's what I assumed that the spring was for. Okay, we're going to have to take a, re a vacation break here for a second. And I'm going to have to look at the parts book and figure out what's, what's what. Because I don't understand. I mean, yeah, so what? So you put a spring on there, it does nothing. Because there's no... Uh, there's nothing that would hold back on anything. So something is not quite kosher here. Uh, and I don't remember anything else coming out of this filter housing. But we're going to take a look at the old parts book and see. Because it just don't seem... Agco. Parts books. Huh. Well, you learn something new every day because I sure didn't. If anything, I would think there would be a spring or a smaller washer that would catch on that uh, bottom threaded tube of the top of the filter base to kind of spring it. But that just doesn't make sense. I mean... Oh people it's just frustrating when you got to try to sort out something that's never been done for a long time oil pump filter engages 
See, if I do this right, I'll drop it in the bucket of oil. Okay, 22. Now we get to go to the breakdown book. Don't you love that? Filter, oil, see breakdown. 675.049 AS. 675.049 AS. Okay, what do we got here? We got a spring, a ring. Oh, what's that gonna mean? Okay. Oh, the snap ring that holds the... Is that what it's talking about? The snap ring that holds the bolt on? No. Seven. Is a gasket. Oh, is that the gasket on the bolt? Is that what it's talking about? There would have to be a gasket on the bolt. That's what that's talking about. Okay, so that's right. Okay, and then three was a... Okay. There's more pieces there. It's a good thing we didn't throw anything away. That makes more better sense. Okay, now we're we're getting somewhere. Yes. Okay, this goes in there and then this pushes down against it. And then our filter goes in, like such, see? That makes much more better sense. Because I couldn't figure out what in the world was. Now our filter has some springiness to it. Well, we're getting there now. Progress is being made. Sweet. All right. Then we need, I hope this is somewhat valuable footage. I don't know. It's just a bunch of nonsense, really. Guy changing an oil filter on something that 99% of people Probably 99.9% .9 of people don't even own a tractor like this. Come on. Ah. All right, so time will tell now whether we did good or whether we did bad. But one thing's for sure, it's got a new filter, which it hasn't had for many moons. Now we'll go to the other side. We let little Freddy drip out all night long into the bucket. So now I suppose, we should probably put this back in. And this is just a pipe plug. It appears. So, don't really know how that's going to work for us, but... There we go. As easy as that. Boy, we've made a mess already. Uh, everything sitting around here. For a simple oil change. I managed to get Freddy's hood open. It was a trick. Something is not quite right in this land over here. We're going to have to figure out how to make that more better. Because it was really difficult to get the hood open. But I got it, so. Yeah. But here's our oil filler. We got no idea how much Freddy holds. Oh, so that's kind of nasty, isn't it? We should probably clean that out too while we're at it. Okay, we're just gonna pour till it hurts, you know? <clears throat> and at like 60 bucks a jug, it hurts. Funnel, do you think? 
Should we get one? Can we manhandle it enough? Nicely? Oh, that's stupid. Oh, she's burping. She's burping. Hold her, Freddy. We only made a slight mess. Yeah, that's always stupid when I do that, but... You know, who's got time to go get a funnel? When you could just not get a funnel, you know? It's fine. It's fine. I don't know what to do. We're going to go check Freddy's dipstick and see where we are. As I suspected, we are just in the minimum. And I think the other little Fiat held three gallons. So that means this two and a half gallon jug, it's going to have the hurt put on it. I mean, it's going to take the whole thing probably. Quit that burping. I just didn't have enough oil. I should have bought two of these jugs. All right, so before we try to run little Freddy again, my next order of business, I think, is going to be taking the starter off and taking it apart and trying to clean it up because it's kind of slow on the draw. I don't really look forward to this because I don't know what we're in store for with this goofy banded setup, but the time is now, something needs to happen. So we might as well get to it. I kind of feel like I'm gonna end up taking this toolbox slash army box off the side to be able to get it. Ooh, hey, I never even looked in here before. There's neat stuff in here. Like the cover to the fuse box. Sweet. Okay, well, part of the tachometer drive is in there. A few little miscellaneous brackets. Okay. We'll try to get this off of here without but I don't know that that's going to be possible because it's just the way that it is. We got to get to those two probably down there. I don't think just loosening the top ones is going to do it. But we need to take these off first, which I assume that the little one is like the cable for the heater, maybe. We'll have to follow that and see where it goes. This starter is still available. It's $900 from Germany, plus shipping. So we're gonna try very hard not to ever have to do that. Uh, boy, I hope it, what I'm doing is not gonna be a mistake. <laughs> yeah, that would be nice if we don't have to destroy this, because I don't wanna. But this exhaust pipe deal here is really ticking me off. I can't handle this nastiness. I bent it back. I bent it back a little more closer to where it's supposed to be. But I still need to get a better piece of pipe to do this and just re-weld it on. So I'm going to have to investigate that, but the radius of it is the problem. But you can't even see it, so you don't know what I'm talking about. Is it this size? Why, I think it is. How about that? Oh! Uh. Well, I didn't expect it to come off that easy. Oh, yeah. Can that, can that enough to get out of? Oh, 
Yeah. All right. Well, there's a hole where a starter was. I'm gonna clean that up. And then I'll take this apart, and clean it up. All right, so we have this demounted, our Morelli starter. And we're going to hopefully be able to clean it up a little bit. I think I might have already done it some good by cleaning this up because I believe that's the only way that it can get its ground is when it's clamped in there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to set you down. Can you hang on for a minute while I get these busted loose? I have no idea what we'll find, but I assume it's going to be like on that other one when we took it apart to make it work, and there's going to be all kinds of gadgetry in there that moves. It's also going to start to rain, which is probably going to put the brakes on this project for a little bit. So that's always fun. When you get right into the middle of it, have to stop. Ooh, yeah. Mm. Yummy. Well, it looks pretty clean. This connection here is not good. And I wonder where did that go? That should probably not be melted into that would be my guess. But that is a totally separate affair there, see? That wire goes that way. Mm. Makes me nervous, because, like I said, it's 900 bucks. Is that connected to that? If that's just a crossover piece, I'll make a new wire for that. I mean, it did crank, it just wasn't, didn't have a lot of oom -paw, paw to it, you know? These go to the brushes. This wire, though, here. I, we gotta do something about that, I can't live with it. Boys, I'm tempted to take her apart, but I'm scared. I'd really like to be able to make this more better. But I got no idea where it goes, boys. There's so much stuff in here that moves. It's just crazy. But I'm wondering if this wire isn't one of these wires and it's looped around through there somehow. <clears throat> That's what I'm working on right now. I might try to pull this off and see at least about cleaning it up and twisting it together and making it more better. But I don't know where these wires go. Uh, I really don't want to take this apart until it absolutely doesn't work because, you know, expensive. Hmm. All right, let's do something. Should we do this? Probably not. I mean, as long as everything's connected when we're done, we can't have made it worse, can we? But we gotta do something about this. This just isn't... That's not gonna work, friends.
I'm thinking like twisting it together. Maybe taking it off of the taking it off of this. Put a little piece of heat shrink over it. Yeah, that's that's my plan, but is it really gonna work? We'll find out. All right, I think I have some supplies now. If I can make this go like what I'm thinking I can. First, I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean that up. Now, the delicate operation, can I pull this away? In such a way that I can put it back later. I hope so. Okay. Clean this up a little more better now. Okay, Mama. Let's put this. We need about that much. Okay. Yeah, sure. There we go. Come on. Get in there. Alrighty, we're going to do that, <coughs> and we're going to try this. Screw has left the building. There it is. I need to find some electrical tape. I don't know if I got any on there. And keep forgetting to bring some. All right. I mean that ought to work, right? Why wouldn't it work? There, I like that a lot more better. <clears throat> then I can slightly bend that up. There. Now, you know, what would a guy do? Well, 
One thing that a guy could do is gently take these off. We got no idea where this stuff goes, but we know that we got to do better, you know. Buddy, what are you doing? Huh? You come over here to say hello? Hey. What are you doing? No? What are you doing? Coming to check this Italian piece of engineering out? Well, that's just as well. We'll go find some tape and we can put this back together. What do you think about that? Yep. Okay. We'll go find some tape. All right. I think we made this more better. I didn't really know what to expect, but yeah, I think it, I think we improved it. So we're going to try to put her back together and then we'll put it back on the tractor. See, well, even though we have all kinds of stuff unhooked, let's see if little Freddy will start. Now that I got the starter cleaned up. It may not even turn over at all, but let's see. Okay, I gotta remember how this works. Oh, what? How, how, what's surprising that, who would have thought that using the same dead battery from the other day, it still wouldn't start? I did charge the other one, so maybe I can swap them again and it'll go. Let me, ouch, that's hot. Oh, that's loose too, I forgot. So I'll tighten that up and I'll get the other battery. Okay, we'll try again, even though we know what's gonna happen. Yeah, we need to get us a better battery situation because this is just pathetic. Every single time, come on. Here we go, a little life support from the Escape, but I think little Freddy's running a lot better, and it don't even smoke. I think that old oil needed to go. We still got good oil pressure. percent sure on this PTO situation. It seems like an awfully it's a different type of thing but it does work. Got good lifting solely Vittori action. Oh, Freddy, you idle down good. Listen to that little thing. Oh, I pushed it too far. But it is a lot better than it was. Let's... Oh, yeah, Freddy. It's just that first start of the day that he don't like to do. But at an idle, it's carrying like 38 pounds of oil pressure, so that's pretty sweet. We need to get our charging system hooked up. I got it deleted right now because I'm not happy with the way it was. Order an exhaust pipe if I can find it or something. Find someone around here who will bend me one up. And I'm probably going to use a muffler like this. I dug around in my used parts bin and I like that better than the IH style muffler so yeah 
little Freddy. I did put some oil in that pump too. Uh, I talked about that in one video. I still need to find this air cleaner cup though, because I don't like this idea at all, that that's running open. actually says to shut it off what you do is you pull up on this with your foot and then see that shoves it more for more forward I guess you'd say yeah so will you start back up one more time Freddie oh nope I guess not my battery I really need to get a better battery, but I'm happy. We're more better and we're getting progress made. So that's what we're after. As always, if you enjoy my videos, give them a thumbs up, leave a comment and tell me how dumb you think I am. Or if by some slim chance you liked it, say that. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.